Police in Fullerton, California, which is south of Los Angeles, are under heavy pressure this morning over the death of a mentally ill man. CBS News national correspondent Ben Tracy has more now reporting about how he died last month after a violent confrontation with police. In this chilling cell phone video shot at a Fullerton, California bus stop July 5th, 37-year-old Kelly Thomas can be heard screaming as he's tased or reported six times. Thomas was confronted and allegedly beat into a coma by six police officers. Witnesses say the attack was unprovoked. The surveillance footage from a city bus captured passengers describing the incident. They were pulling his hair, kicking the out of him. Really? And then they caught him. Slammed his face. Slammed his face against the uh, curb with red. And they beat him up. Thomas, who suffered from schizophrenia, refused to take medication and was homeless by choice. Five days after the beating, he died in the hospital. His father, a former Orange County Sheriff's deputy, wants justice for what happened to his son. If you or I did this, we'd go to prison for murder. That's exactly what needs to happen to these uh, group of rogue officers. Uh, they need to go to prison for murder. Local residents are furious as well. They expressed their anger to city officials and the police chief at a town meeting Wednesday. You should be utterly ashamed of yourself. You should resign. Thomas's father also addressed the panel. Listen to my son, beg those officers, please, please, God, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And then the last words of his life, dad, dad. I want you to hear that the rest of your life like I will. But the police department contends the altercation began when the officers responded to a call about a man attempting to steal from cars. They say Thomas resisted arrest and injured officers, <laughs> causing them to use force. Nearly a month after the incident, all six officers have been placed on administrative leave. A candlelight vigil for Thomas was held Wednesday across from the Fullerton Police Department. They beat him to death. They overdid it. These cops think they're going to get away with murder, and I want them to know they're not going to. Supporters believe they are Thomas's voice now, and they want to send the department a clear message. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Los Angeles.